Hello, John. Hello, Kat. How are you? I am well, thank you. And yourself? I'm well, thank you for asking. It is my pleasure to ask. After John, I have welfare. a question. Yeah. I, I have, an, I have a, another, I have a question for you. Uh-huh. What the hell are we doing? Podcast. Why? Uh, the Lord only knows, and we all know how I feel about the Lord. Uh, yeah. No, Big fan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, we're doing this because it's awesome. <laughs> and uh, yes. that's, that's why. John, break it down for me. What kind of podcast are we doing? An awesome one, Kat. I thought I made that perfectly clear. Oh, okay. I'll write mm-hmm. that down. <laughs> no, Kat, it is a podcast about mistakes, the kind mm-hmm. of mistakes that you make, that I make, oh. that oh. historical personages make, and that occasional mm-hmm. guests on the show make. Wow, that sounds amazing. What kind of podcast are we recording tonight? Uh, it's going to be one of those ones with the occasional guests, but it's not an okay. occasional guest. It's just a guest. Is he gonna, he's going to stay the whole time? I, the whole show. Okay. Right. Good. Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's great. Yeah. So uh, we should probably. In- yeah. Who who like intru- who like is it or who, whatever? Who like is it or whatever? <laughs> it is Ron Bunny, and Ron Bunny is a longtime friend of mine. But that is not his biggest credit. He is a professional <laughs> sound live sound engineer, uh, lighting not, engineer. I'm, yeah, I'm more of a I'm, I'm an all around oh. an AV specialist if you will. Nice. He's a nice. nerd. I am I'm <laughs> a, in the cool nerd category uh-huh. cuz like I work with concerts and stuff, so mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Right. So you do a lot of production type work. Yes. I do. Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. Not lately, but yes. Yeah. Well, a lot of people are not doing a lot of things lately. <laughs> I've moved into the Zoom technician area now. Ooh. Good for you. Good for you. Fancy. It's, Ron, I would say yeah. I would say that you have the best name of any guest we've had. Um, yeah, I mean, it's taken me a long time to uh, come to terms with how cool it is because when you're mm-hmm. growing up with a name like Ron Bunny, it fucking sucks. <laughs> well, it's like a boy a boy named Sue, right? Yeah. Like, it, like eventually it made you tough. Uh, no, it, it just made me cynical because it's, <laughs> it's, Is that there's what did that? only so many jokes you can do with Bunny to where, like, I've heard them all. I mm-hmm. know all of them. There's nothing you could possibly say to me <laughs> that I'm going to be like, ooh, that's new. Um, the only <laughs> time I've ever been shocked was, um, I had a boss in music school. I was late. Um, uh, it was early in the morning. We had a gig. Uh, I ran into the booth. He looks at me and goes, Bunny, it's a deal. Cuffing the carrot? <laughs> <laughs> Cuffing the carrot. Yep. I love and, it. And, uh, yep, that's the Pretty most good. original one I've heard in my <laughs> 38 years of life. Oh, well. What are you going to do? You're still young. There could be more. Mm. Um, that's true. Yeah. You know, I, I challenge anyone to it. Oh, careful. All of it. We might be flooded with emails <laughs> oh, and at, at, at my mistake podcast at gmail dot com, or people might be sending, uh, putting comments on our Facebook page, which is my mistake the podcast. That would make they my could, week. Yeah, yeah. people oh, should us, definitely us not too. do those things, right? <laughs> sure. Don't do that. No. So, so Ron, you're here in full knowledge of what this podcast. Is about right? Am I right? Yes, okay. I, I I'm well aware. Um, I actually came with a quote. Oh, um, it is mm. a quote that I think uh, best fits the podcast. Oh, this is a and, this is a first. Um, it's a quote that uh, I I feel I identify with most in my life. Um, it's from the comedian Russell Brand. Okay, and mm. he said, "My life is just a series of embarrassing incidents." Strung together by telling people about those embarrassing incidents. <laughs> I didn't really think I had that much in common with Russell Brand, but uh, yeah. I kind of do. Yeah. Always love that quote. And every time I listen to the podcast, I think of that quote. Nice. I'd like nice. his money. <laughs> I'd really like his money. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. So, why don't you tell us about an embarrassing incident or two or three or yeah, I've got, I've got options. No. Right. Oh, I, lo- oh, uh, I, I love, love a guest who comes with yeah. options. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. Um, so 
I'm, I'm going to give a few titles. Okay. And Ooh, um, this is I'll fun. Let you decide. Like like All right. It. Corn LSD. Mm-hmm. That's strong. You're coming out strong. Come, huh? Yeah, like, that's, uh, it, that's a heater it, it, right there. Yeah. Um, flaming bowling ball. Hmm. Okay. Not not shabby unto itself. Uh, okay. You <laughs> can never hide a glow stick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. I, I like it. It. it it goes from it goes up I, like yeah yeah I well I mean if you're trying to hide it depends it, yes. I guess yeah <laughs> that one actually is my is my favorite so far it's not the most mm. bombastic yes. but yeah yeah mm. um avoiding the fight of my life okay mm. okay mm-hmm. okay uh bull sperm bank oh my god wow ooh I got wow. it now I know what my favorite one is okay. <laughs> Cat always has loved bull sperm. It's, oh, uh, it it's might change. Thing. I got it's a okay. thing. It's okay. a uh, don't make eye contact with the police. Huh. Okay. And it's finally, nice. flaming blowjob. So we have flaming bowling ball and flaming blowjob. Are these yes. two things related in any way? No. No. Okay. They, they, so <laughs> they both happened in like close proximity to each other, but that's the extent of it. Okay, Cat, we're going to need a huddle over here. Um, this is, yeah, this is, this yeah, is, right. this is so tough. This I, is tough. Like, I know, right? Like we we've never had this like uh, th- this menu presented to us before. I know, I know. Uh, and they're all they what, all sound so strong. I don't. What's like your top two? Top two. I'm saying I don't know why but you can't hide a glow stick because uh, I frankly it, part of it is that I have no idea what this is about, and I've yeah, I've, it's very subtle. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I like that one. Um, I feel like uh. I, I I can't do two. I got to do three. Um, okay. Uh, I think bull, bull sperm bank. Bull sperm bank. It's and, a classic in my repertoire. Yeah, and and then <laughs> flaming blowjob has to be like the third. So what what are your favorite? Sure. What are your top three? My top three: LSD corn. Yeah. The bull one. Mm-hmm. And the glow stick. Okay. All right. Let's go with cats. Because right, she's smarter than I am. I, I'm going to start out with uh, with you can't hide a glow stick because I feel okay. like it's the most tame. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to just preface all of this with where I grew up in Tennessee, there was not a lot to do. It's just, Tennessee. It's Tennessee, yeah. yes. And I lived in a town called Jackson, and it's known as the Hub City, uh, basically because – in the olden times, all the train lines ran through Jackson. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was a party town at one point. Uh, Johnny Cash sang about it. So did June mm-hmm. Carter Cash. Yes, June Carter. They both. Yeah, yes, they did. Yes, together. It's like made famous. Uh, the first Hard Rock Cafe was oh. uh, was built in Jackson, Tennessee. I did not know this. And most people did not don't. know that. Okay. Um, so it kind of maintain that hub in a way where um all drugs flowed through jackson um, summers in high school were amazing <laughs> um to the point where there was one summer and this was said summer uh, i think it was 97 somewhere around there mm-hmm. uh, where one of the people involved in this story uh showed up to my house with a big black garbage bag uh, dumped all the contents out. It turned out to be magic mushrooms. And oh. he said, this is going to be the greatest summer ever. <laughs> <laughs> was he right? It was a very eventful. I'll just put it this way. Of all <laughs> the names that I listed off, I omitted a few. Uh-huh. Like, there, uh-huh. there were more. Uh, but th- this one is uh, a tale of drugs of stupidity, and um, of people not knowing how to react to a situation that desperately needs to be reacted to. Mm-hmm. Properly, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. So this one does involve LSD. A bunch of us decided to do acid one night mm-hmm. because there was nothing else to do. We're in Tennessee. What are we going to do? Acid. <laughs> yes, it, yeah. it was either that or sit in the Toys R Us parking lot in trucks, and we were not oh those boy. type of people. Yeah. We were more right. of the hooligan punk rockers. Uh, it was a mixture of you know preps and punk rockers. It, it was it was a weird group. Um, 
So we decided to go out to what we called the sand dunes, which was basically a field with a bunch of dirt and there were two mounds where we used to like buy a bunch of fireworks and shoot them at each other for king of the hill. We'd make our own weapons. This night we were just going to sit out there in the middle of nowhere, do some acid. The only problem with this is somebody didn't do acid. Oh, somebody showed up drunk. Oh, Oh, no. And the worst thing in the world for somebody on acid is a drunk person because <laughs> they want to fuck with you the oh, whole no. time. Oh, that's oh. Terrible. So we had some glow sticks. Mm-hmm. Mm. And, uh, and a person who was drunk. Yes. And that person who was drunk decided he was going to try to make the experience happen for all of us. Oh, no. No, thank you. It, it was so frustrating, so annoying, <laughs> so absolutely painful um and what we learned that night is it does not matter what you do you can't hide a glow stick we literally (laughs) threw it into the woods and he would chase after it like a fucking dog and come back with it somebody literally walked into the woods buried it Uh oh wow buried it and ten minutes later, that son of a bitch was looking at your tracers. So, so let me understand the drunk person, the drunk guy's idea of I'll giving you the full experience was waving a glow stick around. I, it was a drunk person. It was yes, yeah. I, no, I I get it. I'm just one of the tra- it, it's get the tracers, man. Uh, the tracers, <laughs> like. Yes, God. it's cool for the first two minutes, mm-hmm. but man, it lasts for an eternity, so you gotta chill. <laughs> <laughs> so we were all just like, this is over, this is done, like, it, it's it gotta stop. <laughs> and we convinced him that it's gotta stop. Mm-hmm. So he takes the knife. His, his hunting wait, knife. Not, okay, hold up. Okay. You wait, said wait, he takes the knife, knife as knife. though you had mentioned the knife in the story previously, <laughs> it's, which oh, you no. most okay, certainly it's had Tennessee. not. It's Tennessee, so everybody carries hunting knives. Uh-huh. It's just Fair a enough. thing. Uh-huh. I Fair had enough. one. Everybody had one. Um, it's just a thing that happens. Mm-hmm. So he pulls out his knife and starts cutting the glow stick open. Mm. Oh, mm-hmm. that's but, not good. Well... He's, it's it's a gesture of peace that I'm going to stop being the drunk asshole because clearly you're all pissed at me right now. Um, now, one of my friends, we will call him Steve. Okay. Steve did not realize that this is what was going on right now. Mm-hmm. So Steve mm-hmm. decided that he had to get the glow stick Uh-oh. and oh, swatted no. it. Out of his hand. While he had the knife. While he had the knife. Yeah. Oh, now, no. Steve. Steve did not Steve. know anything had happened. Steve? He just got the glow stick away from him and oh, we're like, no. what the fuck? Well, Steve and, was tripping balls, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> he was tripping balls. And <laughs> to be clear. Yes. Steve was tripping balls in his okay. defense. Mm-hmm. Now, drunk guy pulls his little hanky out of his you know back pocket and goes to clean the the glowy stuff off his knife mm-hmm. and goes mm-hmm. uh hey uh hey steve um <laughs> hey look look at your hand uh because i got blood here uh, at which point everybody <laughs> turned to steve and steve mm-hmm. looks at his hand and there's a little bit of blood dribbling from it and we're like oh that's not that bad and then he mm-hmm. pulls his finger back a little bit and i saw bone <laughs> Oh, 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 it was a wound uh-huh. for the ages. Oh, Oof. Um, now, here's where mistakes come in. <laughs> wait, oh, this wait, is where okay, the mistakes no, come here's in? Here's where my, mis- my participating <laughs> oh, okay. in the mistakes come okay. in. Okay. Okay, got it. <laughs> now, my first reaction to this was to go sit in my friend's truck for about five minutes because I was tripping balls and I just saw my friend's <laughs> Bone. Okay, uh, we need to clarify because his. We're going to use that as a soundbite later. I'm. I this. I like this. Is not my first podcast. This is that. That is not the most it's, embarrassing it's, thing that has been done. Fair. It's been done. Copy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. The, yes. So another you were tripping balls, and you yeah. saw your friend's bone. 
That's the, that's the last thing. You need a minute. You need yep. a little I went, alone time. I sat in the truck and I listened to Hank Williams Jr. for about five minutes. <laughs> I came I out do. and we all like came out with what can only be described as the dumbest game plan that you could possibly think of. It, mm. it was really just like throwing ideas at a dartboard <laughs> and just seeing like if we could hit one of them. Um, because, so, you know, the first reaction is like, you need stitches, you need to go to the hospital. But then everybody's like, hey, Tennessee and LSD, that's not a good idea. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, stitches on acid, it's not a good idea anywhere. No, no, no. Mm. Um, Mm. Oh, my God. I'm remembering what it looks like now, and I'm kind of freaking myself out. (laughs) But I mean, I just, I'm picturing a board meeting, but everyone's frying, right? Everybody's frying yeah. and it's outdoors. Sure. In sure. dirt. In- <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, then, you know, the, the next idea is like, well, what if we just like take him home? But then like the scenario was like, he drives a stick shift. His truck is here. Oh, fuck. He can't shift gears mm-hmm. like that so mm-hmm. then like oh okay fine well then that's not an option right now <laughs> right um finally um the sanest of us which you know on paper oh my god how he was the like the voice of reason i don't know because he's like to this day if i were to pick a person from my class that was most likely to die from an awful accident that he caused, <laughs> it would have been that guy. Like he's oh, he's boy. not like oh yeah he's the smart one. Like uh-huh. he's gonna get it done. Maybe he's just the smartest one on acid. Probably. Oh uh-huh. yeah. So fortunately, there was a gas station that was not far. So we drove the guy who had the idea to the gas station. He walks in. When you're on acid and you walk into a store with a specific idea of what you want, the second the lights hit you, your brain just kind of empties and you just wander around whatever store it is for several minutes until somebody says, can I help you? And oh, then you God. panic. You grab like, I don't know, like an oil cone, like an oil funnel <laughs> and like some toilet paper, pay for it and you run out. That's usually what happens. Like. Mm-hmm. Sure. I've seen it a million times. It's, it's <laughs> Have you really, Ron? Not a million. Okay. I'm exaggerating, but at least <laughs> a couple like, dozen times. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, somehow, he managed to get all of the accoutrements needed. He came out with bandages. Oh. He oh. came out with rubbing alcohol. Wow. Okay. He came out with Band-Aids and everything else you can think of. He even... I don't know how he thought of it. He even <laughs> bought um, um, a spool of thread and needle. A sewing like, too. kit. Oh, now, shit. Now, granted, like, we didn't do that because <laughs> <laughs> that, okay, good. that's just crazy talk. Uh-huh. Like, <laughs> Super glue is yes. what I would think in that. In that. Oh, yeah. very smart. Yeah, that would very have smart. been perfect. Well, that's, that's a mistake I'm, right there, yeah. I'm also not on acid, uh-huh. so <laughs> to be fair. I mean, like, not like mo- this is unusual for me to do a podcast where I'm not on acid. But you know, that's true. That's true. Right. true. One of the few. yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. <laughs> so we get back, we tend to his wounds because we weren't going to do it in the gas station parking lot. So we're like, <laughs> smart. In, oh, yeah. We're in front of trucks and their lights to like, sure, so you can give us see. some sort of illumination because hey, we, we don't have a glow stick anymore. It's what we like Damn to call it. a Tennessee OR. Yeah, pretty much. That's, I, I like that. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. Nice job, um, So, yeah, we, we bandage him up, get him good. We're like, okay, story time. Yeah. Everybody sync up. Yes. Mm-hmm. What are we going to tell your parents? Because right. this, this story is not going to fly. <laughs> um, I believe the story we came up with was um, we were playing – football and he landed 
on a piece of glass. Mm, okay. Okay, Which, sure. It can happen. Yeah, I mean, it was the logical one. It was, you know, like 30, 45 minutes of, like, trying to figure out something. Right. I mean, naturally, at this point, the drunk guy, like, sobered up. So, like, he was in his <laughs> right mind. Mm-hmm. Um, then I had to drive him home because he couldn't drive a stick shift. And I am awful at a stick shift. I can drive one. <laughs> you know, if there's hills involved, I'm fucked. Yeah. But I, I, um, yeah. but I can, I can, you know, fortunately, this is flat land. It, it's tornado country. So, right. you know, a lot of flat area. So I drove him home, and I was taken. But you home. couldn't drive on acid and with blood loss. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I drove. Pussy. Um, <laughs> and we got him home. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And the next day, he went to the doctors, and uh, we we definitely did not think that like oh you know our bandage job would cause issues, uh-huh. but mm. um our bandage job caused issues. <laughs> Because the way we bandaged it, like, his his finger was, like, bent to, like, hold yeah. everything in. Yeah. So, uh, Uh-oh. they had to cut it. Like, yeah. They, they, they had to recut it when he showed Ooh. up. Sure, because the skin fused. had healed, yeah. closed, and, and he couldn't straighten it, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. yep. That's what you get. And mm-hmm. that is how you, you can't, can't hide, hide a, a glow, glow stick. stick. All right. Well, I, I like it. All right. So, now, I think- Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, it's it's. I mean, we're off to a strong start. We're off to a strong start for yes. sure. <laughs> so now our, we got what bull sperm bank is definitely one that's happening. And then for sure, we didn't go with flaming blowjob. No, it was- uh, I you went you went with flaming blowjob. I mean, I'm always going to go with a flaming blowjob. LSD corn. We we've already had an LSD story, assuming that they're all not revolving well, around most LSD. Most of them involve <laughs> LSD. Actually, I mean, I want to know was this is it was it unusual. For people uh, to be doing LSD in Tennessee at your age at that time? At that time, no. It was all over the place. Really? I wow. mean, the, wow. Um, mom, dad, I'm sorry. Um, I did a <laughs> lot of drugs in high school. Uh, but like, that's the whole like, um, the hub city thing. Like, everything. I mean, we're it in the middle of Nashville and Memphis and wow. up north, Paducah, and in the south, like Jackson, Mississippi. Mm-hmm. So it all mm-hmm. just came through like there was one summer where it was it was the opium summer like oh boy oh my Holy goodness shit <laughs> had a lot of fun in high school i i guess you did Damn. uh but definitely um hallucinogenics were definitely my bag um loved them <laughs> <laughs> i'm more of an opiate guy myself which is why i'm really glad that i'm old and when i was young you couldn't get them and now that you can get them like Prince died of them, and like all these people have died. I'm like, yeah, yeah no, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not good with that. Yeah, good call, John. Thank you Thanks. for that. Yeah, anytime. Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's go with the bull sperm bank because we've decided we've both agreed on that at least. We did agree on that now, and we and we also agreed on corn LSD. But like Ron oh. definitely has an idea of the build factor here. Oh, great. Oh, of course. Okay. So- um, yeah. Um. I think corn LSD should come before <laughs> bull sperm bank. Okay, right. bull sperm That's bank, a closer? That's, that makes sense. It's All not right. necessarily a closer, but it's... God damn it. I was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. Can't All right. wait. Well, hit us with it. All right. So um, another thing about LSD is... <laughs> Some I don't believe in like mysticism or like the universe will provide or any of that. I don't. I'm sorry to some of my friends who believe that. I don't. I never have. I never will. But somehow LSD shit happened that was just so coincidental that you're like, mm. oh yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> um, for example, one time, um, Coke was doing this special like promotion where they put ATM cards inside 12 packs of Coke. And I was on acid. I'm starting to feel the effects. I want weed with it, but I don't have any money. And the commercial comes on and people pull the ATM card out. And I'm just like, we just bought a 12 pack of Coke. (laughs) And uh-huh. I ran to the fridge, ripped open. Sure enough, a $30 bank card was in there. I got okay. weed. You- it was amazing. <laughs> Damn. You got weed to go with your acid. Yes, you, you really need no. it, it mellows it out. Oh, God. Now that's oh. serendipity right there. Oh, that's, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. Shit Thank like you, that. Thank you, universe. Um, so 
I was really into corn and um this another one is this kind of is a mistake is in itself. Um, corn the band listening corn to corn, corn the band, yeah. yeah. Okay. That is that is a mistake. And yeah. um the the uh, the mistake is I was really into Limp Biscuit and that was just oh god that oh, was a mistake. The the irony of all of this is that Corn and Limp Biscuit have figured prominently into previous guest stories. It's yes, true. Mm-hmm. yes, that's mm-hmm. true. Yep. Just kidding, Kaylin. <laughs> yes, and Alicia. There is a period of time where I wrote songs that were in the vein of. Limp Biscuit, and oh, there wow. are recordings that no one will ever hear because go fuck yourselves. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> oh man, we we need to do a, a fans only for this, or like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh. You have to pay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. So I, we were all, all me and all of my friends, we were all into corn, <laughs> and they were coming to Memphis, and we we're like, fuck yeah, we're gonna go see corn. We all get tickets. Some of us had floor in the mm-hmm. pit. Some of us had the nosebleed sections. I had the nosebleed section. Only mm-hmm. like two of my friends had the floor. Okay. Um. So we all show up together, and then we split off because there are two sections to the amphitheater. No, it was Coliseum. Yeah, the Coliseum. <laughs> One side was for people with pit tickets. The mm-hmm. other was like, go fend for yourself, you cheap bastards. You, could, <laughs> yeah. you couldn't afford the good seats. Uh-huh. So we split off. And at this point in time, we had all dropped acid. Sure. Yes. Because there's Have you noticed a theme? No the way that, <laughs> yeah. that was, you know, it's, no way it was a bad idea. Um, <laughs> and- we're all starting to feel it. You know, we're all already there. And this couple walks up to us. We're the ones walking into the general admission. Just go find a seat in the nosebleed section. Mm-hmm. And the guy goes, anybody want a floor for general admission? And my mm-hmm. friends were a little too fucked up at the time. And they were like, we don't have floor. If you want floor, go over there. But <laughs> I saw the situation. I love watching people. Mm -hmm. I love identifying things. Girlfriend had a pissed off look. Oh. Boyfriend had the sad I am defeated look. And they were not going to this concert. No, they were going to the concert. But the thing that clicked in my mind was he has a floor seat. She doesn't. Oh. She's not having that. Mm -hmm. So he's getting rid of his floor seat for a general admission. Wow. I instantly raise my ticket up. <laughs> he grabs it. I take his. I look at all my friends. They have this, oh, oh, wait, <laughs> wait, what wait, wait, what? <laughs> what? I go, I, I got I got a flow. Bye, guys. See ya, and, I run, and I catch my other two friends, and I tell them the story, and they're crying, and they're like, oh, it's acid, man. <laughs> it's always acid. <laughs> so we go in mm-hmm. to corn in the pit. We are in the pit. Wow. Um, I don't. I, I feel like I, the pit is a violent place to be when you're in that state. Yeah, of mind, well, see, that's right? the yeah. thing. Acid. There's a period on acid where everything is so incredibly intense. Mm-hmm. Every emotion, every feeling, every scent, every sound, everything. So, so what you really want to do is just like insert <laughs> yourself into a, an already overstimulated environment <sighs> with lots yeah. of things happening. When Lots you're of people, extra sensitive yeah. to that, right? Yeah. 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 Perfect. Yeah. Um, sensory overload is definitely like how I would describe it. Um, one of the songs, the intro started up, you're just kind of looking around and you're just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit is about to fucking happen. <laughs> oh, it is going to be really intense. And I don't know if I can handle this right now. <laughs> did and then, did it start off with 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 Jonathan saying, "Are you ready?" Yeah, it was that song where it was like <laughs> the oh, no. pit goes fucking ape. No, 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 the whole Coliseum went ape shit. I looked behind me, and chairs were being ripped out oh. of the floor and oh, thrown boy. over the wall. I'm freaking out. I'm enjoying every minute. Good. Yes. 
It was You're- a mistake. <laughs> But you were enjoying it. But it was it. one of my favorite mistakes. Love it. Oh, Excellent. Oh, I had such an amazing time freaking the fuck out because <laughs> it was so incredibly intense and so just overbearing. And then we had to like leave and go into Memphis to get to our fucking cars afterwards. And then that was a whole, oh God. Wait, did we just go through the whole concert? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I can sure. only one describe. Song, one big song. That yeah, that describes the whole concert. It, it it was just brutal. It was me dodging beefy douchebags who like mm-hmm. don't know how to mm-hmm. pit properly. They're just like mm-hmm. we're gonna kick some ass. They they exist in every pit. In my experience, uh, I used to go to a lot of ministry shows, and there'd always be some like I don't know, like Nazi skinhead who thought he liked ministry. And- yeah, but this was in a Coliseum, <laughs> yeah. uh, and it was one of the biggest bands in the world, so there was about 30 of them fucking yeah. shit up. of course there were. And it was insane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to go out to your car. Yes. The, yeah. we, we parked at this like parking structure, and we, we walked in, and it was just silent. And we hmm. decided, like, you know what, fuck it, let's go to Beale Street. It, Beale Street is just this amazing spot in Memphis. Blues music, <laughs> um, it's a party street. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, just this one little strip that is basically New Orleans and Memphis. Um, so we go, we drive to Beale Street, we park in a different structure, and it's still just silent. Like, every bit of the silence is palpable. And then we open the door. Out of the garage. And magically, we're whisked away to fucking insanity. (laughs) Literally, people puking in garbage cans to the right. (laughs) People screaming at cops to the left. Just like, oh, god damn it. Are we really going to do this? (laughs) Because So it's like the equivalent of the French Quarter in New Orleans, where it's just like there's... They're drunk frat idiots everywhere. Yeah, and, except yeah. they would Music. sell booze to kids. Oh, well, yeah. you know, it's, that makes it better. Yeah. So we get some booze, and mm-hmm. we go sit on a park bench, and we start drinking our booze. And one of those, like, long flute things, you know, mm-hmm. one, of, one of those oh, guys. Yeah, of oh, course, did, wait, of did course. it have a lanyard to hang it around your neck? <laughs> this was pre-lanyard. Okay. Like, this mm-hmm. is before they figured out, shit, we should probably attach oh. this to them because they're fucking drunk assholes. Vegas has known about this yes. for decades. Yeah. Um, yes. mm-hmm. So, yeah, we sit, we drink, uh, and a police car pulls up. Drives onto the grass right in front oh, of us. Shit. Stares us down. Yeah. <laughs> and then drives off. <laughs> now let me make sure. Let me make sure. This is not the never make eye contact with the police. No, story. this no. Okay. This different That's story. A different, different story. story. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, that one is a long one. Okay. <laughs> that that was you know basically that that story takes place over two weeks. Oh God! And ends and just <laughs> run. Are you securing a second appearance on my mistake I'm right now? Is that, well is that what you're doing? I might be. This one involves people shitting in yards and fucking. <laughs> okay, don't, don't say any more. Like, okay, de- you're okay, definitely yeah. invited like back. Opus. You've already won. <laughs> the Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At this point, we knew we had bit off more than we could chew, and we were like, "We need to drive back." Mm. to Jackson, yeah. which is an hour drive from where we mm. were at. And sure, and you've been drinking and you're still frying, and why yeah, not? That's yeah. A, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, fortunately, there was a uh, Waffle House on the way, and we stopped off there. Got some lovely <laughs> food. Uh, this is my plug for Waffle House. Oh, God, you've helped me on so many a drunk nights, so many a high nights, and oh, so many LSD nights. Waffle House. Your hash browns <laughs> are you- delicious. Did you Brought get them you smothered, Waffle covered, House. and fried? Smothered, covered, and chunked. Oh, chunked. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. This this episode of My Mistake uh, brought to you by <laughs> Waffle House. Waffle House. If it's fried, we've got it. <laughs> I think it's uh, it would be more appropriate. This episode is brought to you in part by Acid. <laughs> yeah, that's that's accurate. Well, I, it could be a 50-50 split on sponsors between sure, like yeah. Acid and and Waffle House. Yeah. yeah. Um so yeah, my uh, my advice is don't 
ever go to a metal concert on LSD. Mm. It's just too much. I don't think I would ever, like, I would have had to be, like, 21 to make that mistake if I were going to make that Mm. mistake. I was... 16 or 17. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's new information, Ron. Yes. I was a, <laughs> yeah. I've, I've been afraid of hallucinogens my whole life. Same. Like, yeah. Cause, well, there's too much crazy in my family. I just assumed I would jump off a building or something if I were to do that. So, yeah. Mm. Never do it alone. That, that's that's the best advice I could get. Never do it alone. Ron, Ron's <laughs> advice, never jump off a building alone, kids. Remember that. <laughs> There's a reason this a episode, or uh, I'm sorry, this podcast is labeled explicit on everything. It's so we can say whatever we want and we don't have to take responsibility. Well, yeah. And if you try to jump off <laughs> with somebody else, they will stop you. They will definitely stop you. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> so you had bitten off more than you could chew. You're mm-hmm. now driving back to, ja- you're going to Jackson, yep. much like yep. Johnny We're going and to June Jackson. Carter Cash. Yeah. <laughs> Not All sure the, the right. Yes, we, we made it home. Uh, we woke up and we all realized we should never do acid on on <laughs> and drive an yeah. hour to go to a fucking metal concert. I can't even imagine. Yeah, that's the moral of the story. <laughs> so kids, do acid and drive, but just not to a metal don't, concert. No, don't, don't yeah. ever, oh, don't, oh, don't know, ever drive that, on acid. Oh, okay, my bad. Don't, oh, oh, I, I, oh okay, God, okay. don't ever do I that. I completely missed the point. I'm glad oh. you corrected me. Is right. that... <laughs> The whole but, point. Uh, you know, it's a lovely segue into uh, the next story. Well, oh. Hit us with it, by all means. <laughs> so it was another acid night. Mm. <laughs> it wasn't Were every they, night acid okay, night. I want to know. Not every night. Did we just luck out and hit the trifecta of acid stories, or do no, all a, the stories no, have No, not acid? all of them have okay. acid, but right. I have a bunch that have acid. <laughs> Most uh, of them. It, it's amazing how stupid you are when you're on LSD. Uh, really? And, and I would teens. never, never would have guessed that. Yeah. <laughs> so, when I was in high school, my mom had this friend, and he lost his job, lost his place. So um, she invited him to come live with us and sleep on our couch. Okay. Um, he was a um, a rodeo guy. His they called him Hollywood. All right. I love it already. And, uh-huh. Hollywood. I, how do you not like yeah. mom's friend Hollywood sleeping yeah. on your couch? Hollywood. Yeah, guy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's fucking annoying. That guy fucking pissed me off. <laughs> uh, it's fucking, it's just an annoyance. How big was his buckle, Ron? Uh, it was a uh, <laughs> big buckle. Um, <laughs> my brother had a bigger buckle, but uh, oh, his okay. was pretty big. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Size of a dinner plate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Platter. So, is what, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, yes. Definitely yeah. a platter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Just tacky. <laughs> <laughs> the WWF championship belts, pikers. Yep. It's like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. like nobody wears those out, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, you're not supposed to wear it out. Right. It's just, you know. <laughs> well, unless you're at like a, it's a, like a, a line f- dancing competition or. Yes. Yeah. But even then, like, it's, it, this is a trophy. Like, yeah. you're yeah. wearing your trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, because rodeo guys are known to be like very humble. They don't like to talk about rodeo, right? Right. right. Not at all. This guy was the exact <laughs> opposite. <laughs> this I'm guy sure. talked. Oh, God. He's just a dick. <laughs> Fuck that guy. I am shocked. I am yeah. too. I, I like, you know, eventually my mom was like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You, you gotta go. <laughs> um, so eventually he got a job at a bull sperm bank. Um, which, you know, it's, it, that, it is what it sounds like is, where. No, is that, did he climb the ladder from rodeo or was that a step down? I don't know. It's, he lateral, was not a think? professional rodeo. So. Okay. So the rodeo was more of like side gig. It was like, you know, in Tennessee in the 90s, it would have been like, you know, well, it's like Uber, you know, you just do it on the side, you know? <laughs> Got it. Got it. So, so but now he's getting a steady paycheck and maybe even some benefits. Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, like, what kind of benefits you getting from oh, the from the, the bull, bull sperm, sperm bank? bank? You think they're yeah. uh, you you think you think they're not giving out good benefits at the bull at the bull sperm bank? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> What's the interest on a deposit at the bull sperm bank? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> don't want to know. Whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's gross. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean. I'm sure I don't want it. <laughs> if we're banking it, 
It's gross at the yeah. bull sperm bank. That's what uh, you're saying. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, so he's working there, and one night he's working late. Yes. And he needs a ride home. And my mom calls me. It's like, hey, can you go pick up Hollywood? And I can't at this point in time be like, no, mother, I am high on what you would call LSD. <laughs> Lysergic acid dimethyl. Like, yeah, I mm-hmm. spent my entire, you know, teenage years like avoiding the fact that like I do a lot of acid, like to the point sure. where I figured out an entire method to how to talk to her, like mm. when I'm honest. Because nice. oh god. Uh she came up to me once and she was like, um, like, what do you think of this dress? And I, the first thing that came to my mind is, Mom, I'm wearing a dog collar. I'm not the person to ask. <laughs> <laughs> it was, wasn't that mostly your uniform? You hit like a dog collar and a green knit cap. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I had multiple knit caps, but mm-hmm. uh, winter time was definitely the the green one. I had a Sonic Youth one mm-hmm. that nice. the little nice. ball on top that I loved. That one that was nice. Mm-hmm. And then a Stewie hoodie. Uh, no, Stewie no? hoodie didn't happen until like much later. Yes, okay, like till I lived in Hollywood. Like, All right, yes, because mm-hmm. I bought that in Hollywood. Yeah. Ooh. Um, no, I was, I think it was a Misfits hoodie at that time. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I could not tell my mom I, I can't do this because I'm on acid. I have to, like, I, I have, I had a lot of problems saying no, which was a big mistake. Sure. Um, yeah. and to my mother, mm-hmm. I could never say no, which sometimes is a mistake. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had to leave a party at my house where a bunch of people are frying on acid. And go pick up this guy out in the middle of absolute fucking nowhere. Well, I mean, it's yeah. not like you're going to put your bull sperm bank in the town center. Yeah, it's right? going to be sure. yeah. Yeah. surrounded by farms. Right. So um, I hop in my brother's truck, mm-hmm. um, which, um, oh, just a lovely piece of work. Oh, so rednecky. Uh, <laughs> but it, did it have a rebel flag on it anyway? It did not only have a rebel flag on oh, it. Oh, oh boy. Shit. I'm going to okay. describe mm-hmm. this piece of All shit. Right. Please do. Um, it was <laughs> a do. 1988 Chevy S10. Uh, it was primer gray because my brother just never got around to actually painting it. He got the primer mm. on. Right. Um, so it was really embarrassing driving around. Uh, it was self tinted windows. Um, oh, so there were Did you do it with like a magic marker? Yeah, no, okay. no, no. It was actual <laughs> tint, but there were like bubbles in it. It was just bad. Mm-hmm. And then on the windows, in um, in, in a rebel flag design, it said redneck. Oh, oh, oh wow. Yeah. wow! No, it's not okay. No, not okay. no. It was uh, it was uh, it was an awful, awful truck. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Uh, I'm glad it no longer exists. <laughs> Did you total uh, it this night? Is that what we're going to have in this no. story? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, in fact, uh, that picture is that truck. Oh, all right. This, oh, sweet. Uh, by that picture, he means the picture that is most certainly going to be available on both Facebook and Instagram nice. on our Mind And it's State got my account. Sonic Youth hat, too. Ooh, mm-hmm. bonus. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, so I hop in the truck, leave my friends. And I know. I'm, Did you tell your friends where you were going? Oh yeah, they knew where I was going. Uh, they they were annoyed because they knew that the asshole was going to come back with me and fucking annoy us. Oh you know, shit! Like, totally Hollywood. ruin our trip. <laughs> yeah. Hop in the car. Radiohead is playing. Okay, computer. Nice. Hey, well that's all right. Yes, and I'm driving. On acid, which is don't ever do it. Just don't do it. Don't <laughs> Again, do, it. do not I do it. I cannot stress this enough. It is just awful. Whether your destination is a metal concert or not, and this is what I've learned through this podcast, and we learn a lot in this podcast. We One do. of the things I've learned, don't drive on acid, even if you're not going to a metal show, right? Yes. yes. Right. Just period. Okay. Ever. Yes. Just ever. It's Good. awful. So at this point, I am frying... So hard. Mm-hmm. Oh, so hard. <laughs> how fast do you think you were going? I know how fast. So that was not the problem. Okay. My speed okay. was not the problem. The problem was, is as I have radio heads, okay, computer, playing on the radio, <laughs> the windows rolled down, the, the summer breeze 
coming through the windows. Summer breeze. Oh, nice. So Driving nice. by the cotton fields, my mind starts to think, am I actually driving? Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, you don't or, ever want to be questioning that reality. Yes. Yeah. Or am I still on my back porch making an ass of myself? <laughs> Holy <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, boy. That thought crossed my mind. Uh huh. <laughs> and then I hope it was immediately transplanted by the thought of, well, let's just assume that I'm driving. Oh, no. That was instantaneous. <laughs> pretend, it pretend. was like, okay, it's best to like look like an asshole just in case. Like, mm-hmm. oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. Keep making an ass out of yourself yes. on your back porch. Yes. So I talk myself down. I am driving. I am driving. I got to get nice here. Job. I got to yeah. get here. Yeah. Um, mm. I finally arrive, <laughs> and it, it, at this point, this is like nine o'clock at night. It's it's pitch black out. Um, mm-hmm. nobody is there except for Hollywood. He is at this point got to give the bulls their shots and do the thing. Whatever, <laughs> cool. Okay. So sure. I go in. I'm looking for him. I go through one of the main gates, and um, here's where things get a little weird. Wait here. This is this the part. Is where, where, this okay. is where things going to Because up to Got now, it. <laughs> totally it's normal. Korean. Yeah. <laughs> so this calf, uh, this bull calf, mm-hmm. walks around the corner. Okay. And I notice that something's a little off about this calf. Mm. Okay. Um, I notice that its penis is not where it's supposed to be. Um, okay. okay. So one would... L- Think, you know, okay, the bull's penis, you know, even if it's a, you know, a, a wee baby one or whatever, would be between the legs, betwixt the legs. <laughs> one, one would think <laughs> that. One would think yes. that. Okay, um, yeah, sure. It, it was not there. It was hmm. not even remotely in that region. Okay, um, Ron, where was the <laughs> bull calf's penis? That's not a I phrase I des- ever thought I would say. I know, right? Yeah. I have to describe it now because it's easier to like use my hands and show you on mm-hmm. the body where yeah. it would be. But our sure. media yes. is not All it right. does not lend itself. So have, we're gonna we're gonna go on a little road trip. All right. So okay, fine. we're gonna I go like where it's supposed to be. Okay. We're gonna go <laughs> north okay. up to the stomach area. Sure. Right? Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. In the umbilical yes. region. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then um then we're gonna we're gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna make a Quick turn, just a hard turn, and we're gonna put it on the side. Okay, so it's okay. up stomach mm. high, yep. and then off to the side. So like left or right? Which uh, is? It? I, I mean, I know you're frying. Okay, but. I want to say it, was, John. I don't know that it matters. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I'm a detail guy. I think I'm I've made that clear. It was, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say it was. There. Just, just pick one. Me, I'll uh, believe right, you. right side, right side, <laughs> right. Side. Um, just say right, Ron. Just say. So right. at this point, I see it. And I think to myself, well, that's not right. That's not what that's supposed to be. Is this some really good shit? Like, did I hit the jackpot? Like, like, am I going to this guy from here on out? Because, fuck, that is some good yeah. shit. He made me see a bull calf penis be, like, nine degrees off plum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do the little, like... Double take, and I shake my head, and I close my eyes. Uh-huh. I'm like, it's not there. Mm-hmm. And I open my eyes, and sure as shit, it's still there. That's huh. mm, yep. That's, that's where the penis lives on oh. that thing. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, this this is this is my night. This is my fucking night. Cool. <laughs> I proceed further in to find Hollywood. Yeah. And mm. I find him injecting bulls with whatever shots, steroids, um, yes, something, ster- yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, I see him. He's like, ah, I got to finish this off. You know, it'll be a few minutes. Just hang out over here. I'm like, hey, um, Hollywood. Um, what, 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 what's the deal with that, um, that penis? <laughs> <laughs> Quick and he question. explains that was what they call a dummy calf. So, okay. uh, it's so they know when the heifers are in heat. Um, he gets hard, but can't just jump on him and impregnate him. Well, because he's going to um, try to do it as though the penis were where it's supposed yes. to be. Okay. But but is it just a, a 
genetic anomaly or do they somehow no no they surgically did that to that poor creature oh, oh come wow on. that's that messed is up so fucked up yeah, that's yeah. messed up i mean i'm not a vegan or anything and i'm never going to be <sighs> vegetarian is as much as anyone can hope for for me uh no but, i mean well, i like still, burgers but put the penis, penis where it's supposed to be yeah yeah, yeah i'm not okay with that. no i'm not down nope no nope. i'm not down well, you know, uh, you know, it's, uh, they, what do they always say? You know, you you, you don't want to see <laughs> the sausage made or whatever, right? And yeah. sure. Well, now you know. Yeah. And knowing but South the battle, the sausage um, that makes the sausage. Yeah. I, I don't mean, know. It's, <laughs> it's yeah. So, um, so I learned something while I was on acid. Sure. So he's uh, just a a, a a living, breathing mm-hmm. indicator of when estrus. yes of when they need. Okay. To, good. That's good. Yes. Coming back. When, when they need to inject the heifers with, with semen. Full and, semen. Yes. For sure. That is its job. That is <laughs> what yes. Talking yes. About? <laughs> this podcast is my uh, life. And uh, I think we all learned something, Ron. I, we're definitely. Learning. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like we're done. I feel like there's mm-hmm. more to learn. Uh, no, nope, there's more to this story. Okay. Oh, um, thank God. So. <laughs> He's giving these bulls the shots. Mm-hmm. Um, he has to do it in a very specific way. Um, he gets them into a chute <laughs> and corrals them uh, into this big uh-huh. iron contraption that once they're in place, he clamps down this giant iron cage onto their heads so that he doesn't get killed <laughs> while he's injecting sure. them because they don't want to be injected. They don't like um, it, yeah. Now I feel like he's injecting them with testosterone, I which is not what you know need to, like, what uh, I don't know. I don't <laughs> care. It was just a fucked up situation. I didn't even want to be there to begin with. Right. Uh, yeah. I'm not uh, even supposed well, to be the, here Exactly. Today. So, yeah, he's cattle prodding them into there. Oh, I'm, my God, I'm Ron. I'm freaking out. Like, this is <laughs> not, come on. It's worse. Like, dude. It's worse. So he gets, gets them in, <laughs> opens up the cage. They go off, do their... Whatever fucking thing. Uh, gets to the last one. The last one is being a fucking dick. Because he, he doesn't is, like it. Exactly. Yeah. I would be a dick him. too. Just if yeah. I were that bull, total dick. Oh, right absolutely. Because, yeah. you know, you got this asshole who's prodding you into this fucking thing. You don't want to go. And he is just prodding and prodding. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Yeah. Uh. Uh, just Hollywood, like, uh, I've lost all respect for you. Well, I never Indeed. had respect for him to begin with. So <laughs> cool. Um, so he gets the last one in. Mm-hmm. Clamps down on its neck. Gives it a shot. And at this point, I don't know if it was like a Super Bowl or something, but oh, shit. breaks <laughs> yeah. open this iron cage. Wow. Fuck yeah, it does. Wow. Five feet from me. Uh huh. Oh, Where you're just okay. chilling and frying. just starts mm-hmm. bucking. Ooh. I jump <laughs> six feet over nice. a fence in one <laughs> leap. I was superhuman. I feel like you vaulted over it. I, I, like, don't, I don't think you jumped you know, over uh, it. All I know is one <laughs> second I had this giant beast coming towards me. Sure. And the Ang- next Ang- I was on the other, other side, side of, of a fence. fence. Sure. Yes. Yeah. So, oh, God. Oh. I mean, forgive me if I don't take your eyewitness testimony while you're frying balls <laughs> <laughs> in front of a rabid bull. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's okay. You, I believe you ended up on the other side of the fence. Yes. And then I had to drive home again. <laughs> with Hollywood. Wait. With Hollywood. with Hollywood in the truck. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What um, was the conversation like there? And say shit to him. <laughs> say shit to him. It was a very long and quiet drive. Well, it wasn't. Radiohead was playing. Well, yeah, I go. wasn't going to let him play That's his good. country shit. No. Um, good for you. Unless it was Jason Isbell, and that would that's, be all right. Yeah, that's yeah. way before that. Okay, fair enough. So, yeah, um, on the way back, it once again happened. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Am I driving? Oh, oh no. Did you just ask Hollywood? No. You, no, okay. no, 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 no. It's just, <laughs> you know, that might have freaked him out. Yes, the mm-hmm. legalities of it. Yeah. Hey, by the way, I'm on a hallucinogen right now. <laughs> so if a car is coming towards me, I'm not going to know if it's in our lane or the other lane. So just Or so on know. another plane of existence. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. yes. yeah. that's a thing. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just wanted to get home, so I maintained composure. Um, nice. Fortunately, this ride was literally country roads from sure. from there to my house. Nice. Um, it's country road into subdivision. Another turn. I'm like the first street in the subdivision. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get there. We're pulling down the street. <laughs> and it's cul-de-sac. I live on a cul-de-sac. Right. And can I, can I ask a quick question? Did you drop acid alone this night? No. No? No. no. Oh. Uh, okay. No, I had left a party of people all frying. Oh. Cause, at your yeah, own house? Yes. Okay. Well, that was a common occurrence. It was okay. a party house, you know. Okay. Divorced enough. parents, you know. Hooray! <laughs> Two Christmases. <laughs> Yay! Exactly. Party. So, as I'm pulling down the street and I'm pulling up to my house, I notice that there is a um a, the <laughs> figure of my friend, um, wearing a jester hat, as and, you do. Yep, sitting on the top of the chimney of my house. Is this a one-story house or a two-story house? This is a one-story oh, house. Okay, but okay. It, the, the, still, the chimney was it was it was high, you know. Yeah, no, still not uh, substantial. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, feet dangling off, <laughs> just feet dangling <laughs> off. Son of a bitch, just screaming, "Buenas dias!" <laughs> it's not even dias. It's As it's I, no chance. It doesn't I'm- matter. <laughs> That's not the point, John. <laughs> okay, I'm a detailed guy. I'm sorry. It's- you know this. Uh, yeah. Um, and at that point, I got out, and I thank my lucky stars that um, I made it home. And I was like, how the fuck did you get up there, dude? <laughs> like, I know how you got on the roof. But seriously, how did you get on top of it? Because you would, like, I... <laughs> You'd need a ladder on yes, the roof, you, right? And there was yeah. not a secondary ladder. So he, it was sheer, like physicality of this asshole wow. that got up there wow. amazing yes more importantly how did he get down oh um <laughs> no he just like dropped himself down on okay. the, yes on the um <laughs> on on the upward side yes yeah <laughs> yes oh that reminds me i need to write down that story yeah i need to make a note <laughs> for the next oh for the next podcast yes, that you do, the, 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 Ron is heavily yes. in demand by podcast. Yes, it's another, it's I another LSD it. story, and it's that time we almost lit my house on fire. <laughs> wow. Well, I just want to say those were amazing stories. Mm-hmm. And, yes, I'm uh, impressed. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and and that's all we really have time for. But I feel like Cat. I agree, and I feel yeah. like we've just scratched the surface of Ron's uh, Ron's you know wealth of stories here. I, I feel like we could do three or four episodes on acid alone. Yeah, I I think I, we should try to do that. I think we should. <laughs> so, so Ron Bunny, thank you so much. Oh, can I do a, a quick plug? Real oh, quick? please, Wait, please plug um, your plug right. away. Yeah. Uh, you can find me on uh, Tinder mm-hmm. and Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> and hinge <laughs> and hinge uh-huh. and you know any pretty much any dating site uh so if you're a a, a lovely single gal i'm on all those gotta just gotta throw that and, out there and and i want to say I'll, I'll, i don't do no, acid do. anymore no he doesn't do acid anymore and he's been very very responsible under quarantine this he's is, also yeah. a very good looking man he's got a great beard at the moment and ladies he can make homemade spaghetti and meatballs uh, legit. It's true. Uh, it's true. If you if you, you know if you're not interested after that, then what the fuck is no, your problem? Just get off of Tinder. Forget yeah, about it. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm 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 the guy in all concert t-shirts talking about music. It's you know, yeah. It, I'm easy to find. <laughs> and I, I as a person who has known Ron Bunny for years and years, uh, you could do worse. I'm just. <laughs> that's my, I'm, 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 I, is that not a ringing endorsement? I mean, because I mean, Ron is a good guy. Ron shows up when he says he's going to show up. He's that's he, a big deal. Yeah, no, it's huge. It's I I have found. Uh, you would think that that's like baseline. No, no, not it's here, not. Not, not, not in no. the world of people. I'll you take know. you to the airport. There you go. I'm that guy. That's a and, good deal. And if he says he's going to pick you up at the airport, guess what? I'm going to pick you up at the airport. He's there when you land. <laughs> It's amazing. Ron Bunny. Unless I'm lost. Gentlemen. That one time I did well, get lost. Well, you know, yeah, but yeah. You, you had made the effort. You were putting in <laughs> the time. 
it, it was pre GPS. It was, you know, it was, I, I had printed out directions. Listen, amazing. I, I've Snapchat. been left at the airport by people far better looking than you. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess he is. Ah, he is. He is. I mean, like, it's what he's got going for him, so I'm not going to take that away from him. Yeah. But, but when it comes to friends, Ron Bunny, ladies and gentlemen. Love uh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for being on the show. Let's throw it Ron, <laughs> Ron, now, um, I hope we can have you back sometime. Mm-hmm. And because I sense that you know the answer to this question. Well, I yeah, I mean, I, you I don't have, disappoint. I, I have an addendum to add to it oh. because, um, I don't know, like Excellent. he did something today where I'm like, I need to do like, yes. it needs to be more yes. because, because we got that fucking guy. Uh-huh. But then that uh-huh. fucking guy did something today where I'm just like, <laughs> oh, you Fair fucking enough. asshole. Yeah. 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 Well, um, get, what's your addendum? Yeah, uh, let's do it. FMP. Yes. And. <laughs> <laughs> FDT. Oh. FDT in the A. Oh my God. <laughs> FDT in the A. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I Look mean, and, and really just gently. Oh. FMP. Just, just make him uncomfortable with it. <laughs> just, just really just be so just caressing and loving <laughs> to just where he is so uncomfortable with it. And yet, you know, it's what he wants. I mean, yeah. am I wrong, Kat? <laughs> Cat's doing the I big shrug. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. know. All right. Well, I ag- listen. I we kind of take FDT as red around yes. these parts. It's like it, it's it. This is a given. Uh, what, yeah. what I've what I always worried about, like because I, I like honestly, I this this pandemic thing, uh, as horrible as it is, it may have saved us from a second term, maybe. I, I'm not taking anything we, as a given. Yeah, we yeah. don't know. We don't know. Everybody still vote for, like, hold your nose and do what you need to do. Uh, Please vote. Yeah. Vote, vote, vote. Yeah, exactly. Under these circumstances, this one's acceptable. But, uh, but yeah, but, but like, what I always worried about was that, uh, that there would be a continuance under the MP administration. And mm. uh, so I'm hoping we can avoid that completely this year. But mm-hmm. in any case, yeah. Uh, as you said, I, I will I will echo your FDT, but uh, as as tradition dictates, and as we so say we all, uh, mm. I think we should do one for the uh-huh. ages. Oh, that yes. is F M P.